Welcome to the first guided meditation session. So in this session, we're gonna be focusing on the first of the chakras, the first of the main chakras anyway, that we're looking at for sure, uh, which is the root chakra. Now, hopefully you've had the chance to watch the introductory video where I cover a little bit about what the chakra system is and how it works. Um, if not, I highly recommend that you go back and give that a little listen. Uh, next thing to do, and you can pause this obviously if you're not quite ready to do it yet, um, you need at least the time on the video, uh, which will be between 10 to 15 minutes per one, um, plus about five minutes uh, reflection time at the end, where you can either write down your thoughts and what came up to you during the meditation, or you can just think them through as like an internal thought process. That's absolutely fine. But please do give yourself the time of the video plus five minutes, essentially, okay? That's your kind of time. That's your gift that you're giving to yourself, okay? So I have a little bit of self-love here uh, where we're giving us we're giving ourselves rather this gift of time that we can relax and we can switch off and we can go on this journey together. Ideally, um, because we're trying to get us nice and relaxed, you know, you want to be in like a, a dimly lit room. So evening time with a couple of candles lit would be perfect. If that's not the case, if you've got a face mask just to block out the light, that would work very, very well for you as well. Um, you can sit down or you can lie down, whatever's most comfortable to you. And if you fall asleep, don't worry about it. A lot of what's being said will go in subconsciously anyway. Um, but if you feel that you kind of missed out because you fell asleep, then obviously you can just watch it back as many times as you like. Uh, the idea is that they're going to all be available at once, but it's for you to go in weekly because at the end of each one, and there'll be a, a few moments towards the end of today's recording where I'll be giving you some things that you can take into your everyday life to start really bringing this uh, into the focus because what we're going to be doing today even though the root chakra now the root chakra is located at the base of the spine it's red in color and it deals with everything in our world okay it's the lowest vibration and what i mean by that is that each of the chakras as well as having a color associated with them they also have um, a different um, frequency of sound associated with them as well and the root chakra is the lowest of the seven that we're going to be talking about over the next few weeks so with that being said then root chakra is all about um, kind of solid stuff you know it's all about grounding to the earth I've heard many meditations where they talk about roots growing out from your spine into the earth to recover this earthly energy so we're going to be doing it a little bit differently um, to that. Um, I was going to go down that route um, and after recording a couple of them it just wasn't quite sitting right. It just felt like a, a regurgitation of other things, you know. And I want this to be a unique experience for you. Um, so instead I'm going to take you on a bit of a journey that I've done several times um, in my groups. So I do guided meditation uh, but it's in the form of shamanic journeying uh, once every two weeks for a group of people that come together. So in that, I basically talk them through a guided meditation session, but there's the rhythmic beating of a drum that accompanies it as well, which really helps people to get into that relaxed state. So we won't be doing any of that today, but what I will be doing though is I'll take you on a similar journey, but without the drum, okay? All right, so hopefully you're nice and relaxed now. Um, got your room sorted, you've got your time set, so you know that you're gonna have this time without interruption. So what I'll do then is I'll just invite you to close your eyes. Um, we're gonna connect with our breath for a second. So what I want you to do is take a deep breath in. So it's, it's all about low, slong, deep, slong? <laughs> Long, slow, deep breaths, okay? So we're gonna go in through the nose, so hold. And then out through the mouth. Hold. In. Hold. Out. Hold. We'll do a couple more. In. Hold. Out. Okay, one more. In, hold, and out. Okay, so with your eyes closed then, I'd like you to imagine that you're walking along a woodland path. 
How does it feel underfoot? Notice the feelings. Is the path made of gravel? Is it mud? As you're walking along the path, notice the trees around you on either side, growing up into the sky, forming an arc above your head. Sunlight shining through the leaves, causing the flickering of light to dance with the shadows on the floor. Notice the sounds of bird song in the trees all around you, welcoming you to the woods. What smells can you smell on this journey? As you walk further on, you start to feel the heat of the sun on the top of your head. It's like a nice reminder. It's hard to explain, but it feels like you're being held, like you're being guided along this path no idea where the next step will take you, but you take it nonetheless. So you follow the path a bit further along, the trees are getting bigger now. Notice any smells in the air. Have a good look around. What colors are most prominent to you? What flowers can you see? You look ahead and notice that the forest that you're walking through opens up into a bit of a clearing. It's a bit of a hill. Tall grass on either side of you as you start walking out from the woods, start progressing your way up this hill. Hold your arms out wide. How does it feel brushing your arms through the long grass? How does it feel underfoot again? Notice any sounds of nature. As you reach the top of the hill, you glance down the other side and you notice a huge, huge oak tree right in the center of the field. Next to the oak tree is a massive fire. You feel drawn towards the fire as you slowly make your way down the hill. Notice how you feel as you're descending the hill. With each step towards the fire, you feel more and more relaxed. You reach the fire and notice that there are a whole bunch of logs around the fire, roughly carved into the shape of seats. You feel drawn towards one of the seats. Go and take a seat down. As you sit by the fire, notice the warm embrace. That feeling of being guided and being held intensifies now. You look into the fire. And you ask the fire why you're here. You say, I don't know why I'm here. It's something to do with my root chakra, this energy center that's at the base of my spine, spinning red. The fire responds, not with words, but it flickers and dances about. as it flickers about and dances, you start to feel warm. You notice a warmth growing from the base of your spine. Sit with it for a moment. Don't judge that feeling. Don't be afraid. You're held, you're guided. Just feel that warmth as it increases. In this moment, you know, you understand. That's the warmth of the fire. A 
as you and the fire sit in this warm embrace. Something starts to fall away from you. It's, it's funny because you didn't even realize it was there at the beginning. But now it's gone, you just feel lighter. It's almost like somebody's just unshackled, like this huge coat of arms from you has just been dropped to the floor. And it's like the realization of what it feels like to no longer be wearing that suit of arms. It makes you feel more alive. It makes you feel like you have freedom, freedom to grow. I want you to imagine that warmth, the base of your spine getting bigger and bigger, radiating out farther and farther. Can you notice it working its way up past your stomach yet? Past your chest? Again, don't worry. You're safe, you're held. If you feel that fire inside you might be becoming too intense. Trust that you are guided. Trust that you are safe. This is a part of the process. This is how we awaken Kundalini. As it is with every feeling that comes, it will pass. The beautiful thing is if we're able to allow it to pass without judgment, without trying to repress it or push it out. So whatever feelings come up for you whilst you're sat by the fire with this fire, this deep, deep fire burning deep within you. Whatever feelings come up, just know that they're supposed to come up. Just sit with them, don't judge them. Just sit with the fire. Allow whatever thoughts to appear. Allow them. Don't judge them. Just allow them to be. Often it's considered that fire is very strongly linked to letting go of things. You know, like the phoenix rising from the ashes. It's also symbolic of new beginnings in, in that very same story. So as we did with our suit of armor earlier that just fell off all around us, as this fire is burning its way through us, you can almost imagine old mindsets, old patterns of behavior, the almost like these auto responses that are built into us. You can feel those which no longer serve you now slowly starting to fall away. And as they do, as with everything, it's with love and with gratitude. Whatever these feelings are, whatever these thought processes, these thought patterns, whatever they might be, even though they no longer support you, they supported you once. So we let them go with love and gratitude and we release them. And let the fire burn throughout your whole body from the tips of your toes right to the top of your head, cleansing as it goes.
So I'd like you to bring your attention back now to the root chakra, to the heart of this fire that we started within ourselves. Bring your attention back. Now you may, it is still a red disc that's spinning, but we're looking right at the very center of this now. And that might appear like a brilliant white light to you, beautiful bright red light, whatever it is. But just bring your attention back to this point. Feel the energy exchange between yourself and the fire. Notice that it is an exchange as well. It's not that you're just receiving energy from the fire. You have a fire within you. We just use this fire to help us get us started. And now there's a symbiotic exchange. It becomes difficult to realize or to differentiate between the two fires. They almost become one. So keeping your attention at the root of your spine, notice how it feels there, this energy exchange. And we're gonna to start to give back to the fire now. So the same way that you can let go of that which no longer serves you, we're gonna do the same now with the fire, the energy from the fire, it's too much for us to keep all day long so with love and with gratitude we're going to pass some of this energy back to the fire now so i just want you to start to imagine that you're being cooled down from the outside so first of all you can feel it on your skin notice how it feels as we're cooling ourselves down right throughout our bodies, right the way back down to our root chakra, which is still spinning, it's still powered up, it's still engaged, but we're controlling it now, we're bringing balance back to the root chakra. So with love and gratitude, we thank the fire We stand up from our log seat and we start to walk back up the hill. You can hear the crackling of the fire behind you. It quietens as you get further up the hill. When you reach the top of the hill, you stop and turn back around, look back down towards the fire. You can feel that connection with the fire still, even though you've walked away. There is a fire within you. You notice this as you start walking back towards the woodland path. Notice how you feel now compared to how you felt earlier. Notice for you what balance in the root chakra feels like so that you may return to this place at any time. Help restore energy to the root chakra and then to balance it as we've just done now. Okay, so notice the trees arching overhead again, the beautiful bird song, the trees all around. Notice how the, how the ground feels underfoot, the smells and the sounds of nature. We're slowly walking our way back along the woodland path. Okay, so I invite you now, just when you're ready, start to wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers a bit. Start to bring your awareness back into your surroundings. You can take your time with this, there's absolutely no rush at all. But as soon as you're ready, I invite you to open your eyes. Okay, and as mentioned previously, um, almost as important as going through a guided meditation, it's really important as well to do the reflective part at the end. Quite often people do this by writing it down because it helps them to kind of structure it in the order that things happened. It kind of works well for me doing it that way. 
Um, but some people just like to kind of rethink the process again, and that's enough for them. So whichever way you choose to do it, the suggestion uh, for now would be that you do that for the next five minutes. So write down or just put into order what just happened for you. Um, go and get yourself a drink of water. Um, if possible, I know I did suggest it is of an evening, but if possible, just get outside just for a sec. Um, we're to it's all about grounding, okay? So maybe if you've got a bit of a lawn or whatever, take your shoes and socks off and just go for a walk around the lawn barefoot for a moment. Um, yeah, and then just have a think about anything that you experienced that you felt during the guided meditation. Um, and think about what can be done now throughout this week to help you to keep that balance within the root chakra. See, the idea is it's all, all good and well me saying, oh, you know, it's great to have your root chakra balance. No, it's fantastic. But you really need to feel it and to experience it for yourself because when feeling it and experiencing it for yourself, um, it'll create like this positive feedback loop within you then. So we talked a little bit in the guided meditation about auto responses so these are like our kind of responses to a particular situation that we automatically go to without considering other options um it could be almost like balancing the root chakra can be like an auto response to you once you start to feel some of the benefits of doing it um so throughout the week then so the color red is associated with the root chakra as we know so all i would ask you to do whenever you can remember to do it is throughout the week if you see anything that's like a bright or deep red color just connect that color and just bring your attention to the base of your spine to your root chakra just for a moment that's all you need to do um, as well as that, you can have a look on YouTube for some binaural beats. Um, so look at binaural beats for root chakra balancing, um, which is lovely to put on. They do them for like sleep as well. So you can just put them on and just have them on in the background whilst you're sleeping. Um, and I think that's pretty much going to be it for, um, you know, the stuff to do outside of the meditation session for the first week. Um, I hope that you got something out of it. Um, if there's anything from what you just experienced or what you just went through that you'd like to discuss further um of course i'm very happy to listen um i don't have any of the answers i was going to say i don't have all the answers i don't have any of the answers okay but what i am very willing to do though is to just be like a soundboard for you so you can just talk about experiences where that's absolutely fine um but yes hopefully um you found that good um and relaxing and yeah i look forward to sharing uh, next week's guided meditation with you as well. So thank you very much, everyone.